The actual animation of Kong was handled by animation specialist Willis O'Brien, and he was already an accomplished and sought over matte painter, so he was no stranger to the movie industry. Now, Willis's work was already lauded for his claymation work on The Lost World in 1925, and Kong basically made him a legend that would influence stop-motion animators for generations to come. He went on to create stop-motion effects for classics like Mighty Joe Young in 1954 and The Lost World Remake in 1960. Let's take a quick look at King Kong in action in 1933. And... There's a bit of a movie lore legend here when it comes to King Kong in 33. And the story goes, and I want you to kind of know this before you watch the clip so you can kind of watch for it, is when Willis O'Brien, he hadn't really seen the full result of his animation test for King Kong moving and the executives were wondering if he could pull it off. So they all got together into a theater and Willis O'Brien was in the back of the room and the King Kong sequence came on the stop motion test to show King Kong climbing up the, uh, the Empire State Building and fighting, uh, fighting the famous, um, plane sequence. And he noticed that his finger impressions on the fur was basically flashing the fur. It was indenting the fur all over the place. And he looked back and he, and he thought, well, I'm fired. This is over. Uh, This looks terrible. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to kind of walk out of the room. And the lesson that we learned is don't say anything until you really have to, because when the lights came up, the movie executives were just astounded and they absolutely loved everything he's did. And one executive stood up and said, my favorite part of your animation is that you actually got the wind to move King Kong's fur all over the place. It wasn't a wind effect. It was actually just him handling the model. Um, So it's important to note, don't say anything and you never know what they're going to love. And of course, they absolutely loved it. He didn't say anything. He was not fired. And uh, the rest is history. Take a look at King Kong in action from 1933 with a little bit of the Peter Jackson remake as well.
Carl Denham. Carl Denham? Yeah. Denham? Well, that's the man that captured the monster. <laughs> well, Denham, the airplane's got him. Oh, no. It wasn't the airplanes. It was beauty killed the beast. Beauty killed the beast. The ape must have known what was coming. It's just a dumb animal. Doesn't know nothing. What does it matter? Airplanes got him. It wasn't the airplanes. It was beauty killed the beast. <laughs> 